everyone, and welcome to a webinar that we are hosting together uh, with Nexus and Alice Tao, a Nexus member. Uh, we are very grateful for your participation. We are recording this so we can share it with you via newsletter and you can refer back and also uh, find Alice if you would like to take her up on her services or ask any additional questions. So we will start with the agenda. If Alice, you can just share the agenda. On your screen. Yeah, hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Alice. Thank you for joining this uh, webinar and many thanks to Maria and Alexis for giving me this opportunity to discuss with you how to build your 24 hour sales team. And this is my agenda today. I will discuss about how to build a website, how to automate your website process to save time and cost how you can use keywords and SEO to get more traffic. I will talk about popular e-commerce solutions. And in the last part, we will have Q&A session. If you have any questions, you can raise your hands or put your question in the box, in the chat box. We will pick up later. First, I want to have a brief introduction on myself. I worked for international sales and marketing for 12 years in China. I'm a senior economist and my highest passion is in the digital marketing agency. Um, so I combine my experience, my passion, my skills and knowledge to set up Easy Marketing Limited. This is a high-tech digital marketing agency with commerciality at its core. I got my start of visa this year in February. February and I set up Easy Marketing in April. After settling in Leeds, I joined a local startup program and closed my first deal in May. In September, I attended Leeds Digital Festival and the local council was uh, really nice to me. They have my name added to delist a platform that encourages diversified talents. And before we get started, I want to and think about some questions together with you. Why a website is a first choice for startup business? I have two questions. One is how long it takes to grow your social media followers to 10,000 without using paid advertising. It is hard if you want all the traffic to be authentic. The standard practice in our industry is to create at least three posts across all platforms daily. And it is recommended to use a combination of videos, photos. It is hard if you want all the traffic to be authentic. The standard practice in our industry to create at least three posts across all platforms daily. Uh, and it is normally recommended to use a combination of videos, photos, and reels. Uh, of course, we can schedule all the posts with a lot of uh, tools, either Matter, Sweet, or Camera, and other uh, third platform. But you still have tremendous pressure to catch up with many active social media content creators. So more and more people choose to work their own grass. Then, talking about website, what do you expect your website to do for your business? If you think you have too much pressure from social media, why choose website? A lot of people, a lot of customers, they came to us and they said they want to be a website just for the presence. When customer ask, do you have a website? Then they can have something to show. It's like a window shopping for them. But actually website can do far more than that. And I will tell you how well does your website function as your company's various departments, which social media cannot do. And that, that is why I think it is the first choice for, your, for a startup business. Unlike social media, pressure comes from the website. If you want, is, you want it done, done. You want a perfect website when your business just started. But the reality is you need different website features at different business stages. Your website should never be considered live and done. It should continuously be 
<clears throat> be improved as your business grows. <clears throat> I'm sorry. As a new founder, you will have to wear multiple hats because you are self-employed. You want to save the cost or because you have a limited budget at the early stage of your business. You are the salesperson, bookkeeper, HR manager, and the top manager of your company. You can't hire too much people. So the website can function as different departments of your organization. To make this happen, we normally need a lot of uh, automated processes and let the AI do most parts of the job for you. It can be your human resource department. When recruiting, you can make a form for applicants to fill out, find people to work for you and be inspired by their achievements. In this case, you may ask them how they developed an effective initiative in their previous job, encourage them to share their success stories with you with a video recording. It can be your operation department, like, like what Lexus is doing on the website, make the initial shortlist automated by answering questions and submitting the business plan and other documents. It can be your finance department. For e-commerce websites, especially B2C websites, you don't need to hire too many people if you make orders with automation. Right after each purchase, you can generate an invoice automatically sent to the customer's mailbox. Followed by some marketing campaigns, then the customer can track their orders and learn more about what you are selling. You may also use website as your legal department. You can use a contract on your website, like what we do on our website. And your customer can fill in your, the information, the lane, that signature to generate the agreement. We have third platform like this, we can use HelloSign, but if you integrate this function into your website, the cost is lower and you keep all the data within your company. But of course, most importantly, the website is your best, best marketing channel. A smart way of doing business is to build multiple sites for different purposes. For example, if an interior designer builds a website, people can buy his service for kitchen design, bedroom design, and garden design. But at the same time, he created another website to sell furniture required in his design. He can cooperate with big furniture brands in this way. He, does, he doesn't want, need to buy in all the furniture. He just like a bridge. In this way, his customer can immediately enjoy a discount when he shares the membership level on both sides. He's doing two billets at the same time. Now we know that uh, websites can do uh, more things compared with social media. I want to discuss some popular e-commerce solutions. Anyway, we we'll, we'll all won't get paid from website. If you spend budget and mod on the website, of course you won't earn some money back from websites. I will talk some popular e-commerce solutions in the market. First is a basic e-commerce store you can collect the payment system with your website, PayPal, credit cards, and, and all the solu local solutions. Like in China, we have the Alipay, we child pay. You can sell products or you can build a multi-window platform which functions exactly like Amber or eBay. If you don't want to buy in and sell out products, but you have professional knowledge in a specific area, we can build an education system. You can sell on YouTube, and a lot of people doing like that, but it takes a long time before you can profit from advertising. Normally we just have maybe one or three uh, videos on YouTube for advertising, but we build everything on our website. 
to get paid. And if you use Udemy, you can also sell online education per service, but you will have too many competitors. From If you sell from your website, you can keep all the content private and you can assign homework to your, web, to your students. You can always have a lot of interactive um, in, in actors designed for your students to keep the whole process uh, more active, more dynamic. If you are interested in building collections, you can build a membership site. This is a membership site we built recently. It is a home for professionals and founders who are in the UK. We will give some free resources on this platform regarding how to uh, apply all the regulations in the UK, how to get the free webinar uh, resources in the UK, and, uh, and even how to rent a house in the UK. Everything we all cover there, you can join us as well. And you can also build community websites, like a lot of membership sites did, the, like the dating website. Mm, when it comes to the next question, we can build a website, we can um, use a website for different functions, but what if you don't have traffic? So that's a lot of people concerned about. You may heard about search engine optimization, but what is search engine optimization? What is SEO and uh, what is keywords? We will use two sample examples to show you all this SE, uh, what SEO is. First is keywords. If you are running a pizza restaurant, how do you position yourself so people can search you when they type in some keywords in the search bar? Do you want the customer to find you when they search London pizza or Manchester pizza or maybe Leeds pizza? What is unique about your, your pizza? It is Italian pizza or fitness pizza. If you target these keywords, you will need to have a comprehensive coverage of these contents on your website, which is part of the on-page SEO. And if you uh, go to a physical shop, if you want to find something like in an electrical uh, shop, you want to buy, um, the phone holders, whatever you want to buy, what is style, what is the price range, you can ask from the seller. He will get this product directly to you. But if you sell online, there's no salesperson layer to help the customer. So this comes another, the te technical SEO. You have to make your website clear with, <clears throat> clear with a structure. Normally, we do this with sitemap. What is sitemap? And like SML sitemap is a sitemap for the machine to read. They can easily read everything from, from your site. And for HTML sitemap is a sitemap for user. User can easily find everything on your website. You have these two sitemaps installed on your website then the robot can easily find all the pages, blogs, categories, and tags. The same is your users. They can easily find everything. We have a lot of resources only for SEO that you can um, actually use for free. Like Google Trends and Google Keywords Plan, they are free. You can use them to improve the performance of your websites. But as advertising agency, we buy paid SEO tools. So we can go deeper into the game for our customer to make the, the, the comp competitor analysis and to grow the traffic for their website steadily. Apart from SEO, SEO is you something, uh, something you do step by step. It is like a long-term plan for your website we can always do some marketing campaigns to build the data. If you don't want to buy high for PPC, the paper click, 
you can make automated marketing campaigns at the initial stage. The basic logic to, is to have a lot of triggers and action on your website. For example, you can have a pop-up forms for people to sign up for a newsletter, then change its role in your CRM system to let, and then send mails to them regularly to promote your product or service until the pay, you can later change their role to customer. Mm, uh, also, you can trick a follow-up code once your customer make a permanent payment to track their behaviors on the internet. Now that you know, you can build a website with customized features and functions. You can make money with e-commerce solutions. You can get traffic with search engine optimization, and you can build your customer data with marketing campaigns. You will better understand why I said a website the first choice for a startup business. Thank you for your time. Let me know if you have any questions. Hi, Alice. Uh, thank you so much for the presentation. I just wanted to read um, a question that we have received previously through a type of form. Um, someone is asking, if you are a startup and you have restricted funds, so can you use then template-based websites with integrations like such as Squarespace, Wix, because they're easy enough to sort of do yourself and a lot of things like uh, operations, e-commerce and all of that, you can sort of do yourself to save on money. But at what point of time do you wanna to switch to a real coded website? Um, because that requires more money to set up. So how would you advise on that? Um, I can actually show you a real case we are dealing with recently. A lot of people, they are using Squarespace and Wix because it is easy to build. Yeah. Um, let me show it. Recently, a customer found us because they are using Square, uh, Squarespace, mm -hmm. but they want to change to uh, WordPress because you know, Squarespace Wix, they have limited functions. Mm -hmm. This is one thing they won't change because of the layout is not what they want and the function is not what they want. And for another thing, because um, for Squarespace and Wix, they are not integrated with so many functions. They have too many limitations. So their website is just like a window shopping presence showcase. They have to sell all their tickets uh, on a third platform. So they have to pay commission to that third platform, but they want to get this money just uh, in their own website. In their own website, not only that they get the paid, they don't have to com pay commission fee, but uh, most importantly, they have the data collected. They can uh, later, promote marketing campaigns to the target customer. So um, if they just uh, what if they think they have no business at all, they can try this fix and the square space by themselves. It is no problem. But if they want to make a long term plan, I don't think it is a good choice for them because if if you just want to have a presence there, you can use even use Canva or any other platform is quite easy and the cost is very low. Okay, thank you. So basically, if I'm uh, just to reiterate, so if, if you just need for something easy, like a landing page or just to start your business, you can use those uh, platforms to build yourself to save money. But if you have a long-term plan of creating yeah. your own and saving your own database, of all of your customers, then you need to switch to a real uh, coded website. And from what um, we understand, uh, easy marketing can help you with all of this, correct? Yeah, we can do all of this. We normally, we don't like just to use a template. Mm -hmm. uh, what our customer do is they will share something 
to explain with us what they want exactly. Where is my desk? So you work uh, personalized depending on the business and the person and they can come with different needs. Yeah, normally we hope the customer do some early search for themselves. You don't just say, I want a website, what is the budget? That is not the way to be responsible for their own business. The best way is that they, they search for what is the best practice they in their industry. They told us, told us what is their needs? What they, do they want to achieve with this website? Uh, and uh, they can show maybe three or five cases in their industry, what they like. We will compare these websites and found, find what is the functionality he's looking for. And we can then propose a customized design for him. How many pages you may need, what functionality you may need. We can have a room meeting to discuss everything in the detail. And then that is responsible for themselves as well and responsible uh, for for us because we, we don't just uh, give you a price you can find a lot of price on the internet you know if you sell something like uh, if you sell a, a cup on ebay normally we also sell a bag we with the, the glass is five pounds you can sell a bag at one one pound it is allowed on ebay if the 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 um, price difference is just a uh, for, within four pounds. And then people, they say, oh, he just a sale for one pound. Then they go to your shop. But when they go to your shop, you found the glass is the same, five pounds. This is a lot of agency doing. They may put a lower price. We can start from 90 line. We can start from 20 line, very cheap. But if you discuss in detail, it's not the case because you, you have to know what is your needs. Okay. And another question, would you be able to share your services or just, uh, um, yeah, a bit more detail on the services you offer and the price range so uh, we can share with other members in case they would like to use your services or have a consultation with you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, our service mainly includes website design, search engine optimization, and marketing champion design, the main, main three categories. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we have any additional questions from the people uh, attending today. Uh, please, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to raise your hand or to just submit in the Q&A. Let me check the list as well. Do you have maybe any examples of uh, the websites that you have done or improved? Um, another question in regards to social media, you know how you said that you can actually use your website, but can you then link your website to social media and sort of share from your website. So any post you do, it sort of goes automatically to social media. So you can save the time if you don't have the initial money to start promoting your aggressively on social media, but you do have a website. Yeah, it's so a popular case for social media integration. Uh, we have like, uh, uh, for one thing, uh, we normally have um, integration of social media as a chat box. Uh, another case is that we can build a social media wall. If some people, they are very active and social, uh, then we can have a page with all the social like Instagram, put a social wall there. It is good for, for traffic as well because your, your, your website is always make. Uh, also, we can have the shy button. Like uh, some people, may, they maybe they like to uh, like the bloggers. They are writing comments all the time. Then you share uh, with uh, integrate with the shy button. Then you can always share your 
um, the contents for for people to share to different uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. And I will show show one case. Uh, this is what we done. This is a e-commerce website. And um, for this website, because you you will see the picture is different. Uh, this one is a square a square um, picture they have, and this one is a, a little bit long. So we have we build two templates for the e-commerce for this one, uh, and uh, for this one is different. You see, they can put small pictures here, which is a little bit different from the default WooCommerce store. Default WooCommerce store, if you want to read pictures, you have to read from the lower part. But this one, we put it here and we put everything customized. Uh, for example, for the clothes, it's a, another story. For the clothes, mm -hmm. we use the slide. Actually, they can also integrate videos here. You know, people, they like it, how it looks on your body, how the clothes looks in your body. Also, we have uh, the, the, the um, guidance for people to buy the, the sites. This is another website, uh, like they want to show their product in a way, which is dynamic and the category like this one. This is a function. they view from other websites and what they like, then they come back to us, we, we, we customize for them. And so I actually want to mention about the uh, event map because I it is, you have to change, change this date. You see, if you put this on uh, event uh, right, you can have this information. You can book a ticket. This is the same because it is already down. Now you can book. It is closed. But before this, you can you can also buy tic ticket here. You can have foreign um, and you can build all the um, like uh, community websites, which is probably now now like uh, dating dating apps. There are a lot of dating apps now. So it is all customized. And for another thing, uh, a lot of um, a lot of people may have to consider is that you have to when you build a website by weeks or Squarespace by yourselves. If you want to track information of the customer, or if you want to uh, if you want to get the data, you have to comply with some regulations in the UK. We have this co cooperation with legal companies to make sure that it legally do this. You can't just uh, web build a website and they uh, or track them. If you don't have the privacy pages, terms of conditions pages and the cookie pol policy pages well uh, formulated, it is not allowed by the law. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Um, I believe that's all with the questions. Do we have any additional questions? Anything else that you would like to add, Alice? Maybe any tricks or anything you would like to share? Um, before we close off? I think it is uh, quite early in the UK to start from. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people may still sleeping now, but we will have this video recorded, right? Yes, yes. And we will also leave the type of form link. So if people come up with additional questions, uh, I will forward them to you so you can uh, reply. And also, if anyone is of interest and want to explore your services, same thing there. We'll leave your contact details for them to find you. Yeah, I think we have very nice payment schedule. For a lot of websites, uh, you have to pay uh, before you get started. You're saying to pay, but we have very 
nice payment schedule, especially for startups. We can divide them into as long as like six months. Okay. Or even one year range. It depends on the budget. Okay. So it's flexible. Affordable. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you so much for everyone's time. Thank you so much, Alice, for delivering this lovely webinar. And uh, yeah, I will share the recording once it becomes available. Okay. All right. See you. All right. Thank you so much, Bye. everyone. Thank you.